I turned 29 earlier this year and it feels incredibly grim. An injury here, a surgery there, a balding crown up top, and beyond broke. Things weren't looking very good. Worried? My family took me to a trusted astrologer last month. What's his future? They asked. He also went on to add. That wasn't even the end of it. Before marriage, इसको कुंडली विचार करके शादी देना ना एडजस्ट होना मुश्किल। बाहर के लिए हो जाए, घर के लिए। This adult thing is hard. I miss my childhood, biking around for hours without worrying about deadlines or job applications. The last two months, I've been having these fantastical dreams featuring my family, who are all in India, thousands of miles away. First off, I wasn't always injured, balding, and broke. There was a time I was young, handsome, and had lots of cool friends. I traveled the world freely, not worrying about the money in my bank account. I threw birthday parties where I didn't have to make invites or plan anything. It would just happen. Now, I need to make every single thing happen. Cricket was an early obsession. Watching it, playing it. Cricket also facilitated my dad's son bonds. I would spend hours doing this with my dad. We saw matches together and talked about it. I often wonder, was sport just invented so that dads could bond with sons? We were always a very close family. My grandparents lived with us and my favorite cousins also moved in. Growing up, we'd share a bed, clothes and oftentimes underwear. In summers, we'd play from morning to night but also celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, professional accomplishments together, sometimes surprise, sometimes planned. I count them as the best days of my life. What used to be a month is now barely a weekend. In 2019, all I think about is individualism and aging. My grandfather was 28 when my father was born and my father was 28 when I was born. I just turned 29 and kids couldn't be further from the horizon. This is what my mom looked like 28 years ago. 10 years ago. Now. This is my sister. I've missed her multiple graduation ceremonies, my dad's silvering hair, my mom's first pair of eyeglasses, my closest cousin's weddings, and my grandfather's slow uphill cancer fight. For what? For the pursuit of a singular dream to be a filmmaker, a dream that would take me out of Kanpur, a small town of 3 million, that accounts for most women I fell in love with. Like my favorite filmmakers who spend their careers obsessing about the top social, moral, and philosophical problems of the day, I have also found my niche. The last seven years though have been all about New York City. The broke, balding and injured NYC experience has been heightened by the city's giant underground FOMO magnet. These magnets make it very hard to leave the city. The magnets are in these pigeons, on the subway, in dance classes, in house parties, at the gym, in newfound friends and work. They make the good parts better and the bad parts worse.
So here I am on the cusp of 30, standing on shaky financial ground, grappling with growing older while the earth hardly ever ages. Quite like a monkey subsisting on stolen bottles of soda, harboring dreams of a Wikipedia life, I seek a metamorphosis.